This is a very special show today. Let me uh, back up a little bit from voiceovers for this station back in 1974 to full fledged stories here on AM Buffalo. My co host John Summers has been by my side from day one. We both started on this show together. So it is with heartfelt emotion that we announce that John Summers from this day forward is going to be enjoying a full fledged retirement. And while we are thrilled for him, Boy, are you going to be missed around here? Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I, I'm not sure what full-fledged retirement means yet. I know but, I've seen know. Elaine's list. Is why. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll have a honey-do list. It'll go from here to the front mm -hmm. of the building. Yeah. But well but, deserved, John. Well, well thank deserved. you, thank you. Uh, when I think back over the past 27 years, we have had some of the most fun <laughs> shows I can remember. Kevin Meany, the comedian who I understand is no longer with us. This is your Universal uh, Studio oh, stuff. Oh, Universal yeah. stuff I did back in the 90s. Mm -hmm. Doc Severinsen, yeah. while he was still on The Tonight Show, was the Holiday Pops conductor yes. for the BPO. And he would not come character. to town that he did not come on he our show. He loved coming on AM Buffalo. He loved it. No matter what he did the night before. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, That's John right there flying across. No, no, oh, no, 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 that came. wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't remember if I was in one of these speed boats or not, but uh, no, yeah. that wasn't me there We're either. see you. But this goes there all the way are. back to there me. You are. Yeah. Look, that's our John. <laughs> that's more like me, yeah. you know, them trying to get me on the boat. That, that's more like it. But John, we have to let people know that when you started back in, in KB radio days, we yeah. both share that. I came here from uh, uh, Washington, D.C. I was at the station there, and a friend of mine became program director at KB Radio. That is when AM radio was king. That's right. And KB was one of the big powerhouses in the country, 50,000 watts. And um, uh, I, I, I came to work in January 1974. I had not been there a week till Peter Kerr, I remember Peter, came over and wanted to meet the new guy on the radio and wanted me to come next door. The radio and TV station were together. Come next door and record some stuff for TV. And it's, the rest is history. So we'll still hear your voice. You'll still lend us your mellifluous tones. Linda, I would say from <laughs> January 1974 until today and maybe even beyond today, I don't know, there has not been one week go by that my voice has not been no, on this station in right. some capacity. Mm -hmm. Either I've been doing segments or record. it's been a recorded voice for a, a promo or an ID. You know, one thing we're gonna miss, uh, and we have some video, because we both go back to like the 90s on the show, is yeah. that you're gonna, well, I'm gonna miss working with you at the Erie County Fair. Oh yeah. That hit, we, look at look at you. Look at you back in the day. We wore our red shirts and oh, look at the shorts you and everything. Could, you wow. could white balance a camera on my <laughs> legs. I, anytime the guy said, I need a white balance, I'd pull up my pants this leg. This was 1995, say, John. 1995. Really that far back? Yeah. Wow. Okay, the the uh, the thing at Universal was 1995 yeah. as well. Yeah, if that camel's still with us. Amazing, uh, amazing. We, he seemed to be interested in me. We always had like the best time though. We you celebrated I, our 25th yeah. anniversary yes. at the Erie yes, County Fair. we did. Yeah, that's right, ago. just a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah. Really so did. that's unusual for people in TV to work together for this long. Maybe even more unusual, we've never had a crossword. Never, honest never, to God, never. with each other. That's why I call her my sister from another mister. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, with my actual sister, um, Elissa, down in Kentucky, uh, there's about five and a half years, almost six years separating us. Growing up, we never had a fight, never had a crossword, mm -hmm. even until today. It's just so I get along well with sisters. Yeah, you do. You <laughs> do. Really and we've do. had it. We've had a great time between you and me and Frank Pacella. We've been yeah. like a triad uh, on this show for a long time. And yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be. I'm glad to still be hearing your voice on the show because that way you'll never really truly. Be well, on. and I got to tell the folks, I don't know. I've got segments I have recorded for the program. I I still may be on something mm -hmm. for a week or two here. But. Hey, tell me about what you're going to do with Clara. Because I think that's really cool. What, with what, some of your retirement, that you're going to take her to. Oh, we're going. Tell about your, the relationship you have with your golden retriever and how you're going to visit some of our senior centers that you've become so close with yeah. on the show. Uh, I promised one of our uh, retirement communities that I would bring my dog, Clara. She's a female golden retriever. Sweetest thing on four paws on the planet. And uh, I'm going to take her around mm -hmm. to some of the retirement communities. To, Isn't that great? To meet the people. And she just loves attention 
and loving. Yeah. Have people given you <coughs> advice Excuse about me. what to expect for this time off that you're going to have now? Well, everybody tells me if I thought I was busy at work, just wait, mm -hmm. you know, wait till I retire. <laughs> said, you're going to be busier than you ever dreamed possible. Hey, let me ask you this. Uh, Aaron Pike, our director, wants to know if you can remember your funniest outtake. <laughs> My funniest outtake? Or the most memorable one. I, I'm not sure I can remember that. Yeah. Does he, he obviously remembers. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Aaron, Keith, if you, you know what it here? is. Come on in. Let us know. Look oh, my who's goodness. Look here. Come on look in. Who's Just here. jump right in front of that camera. Johnny Keith Radman is here. gentleman of the news, of Eyewitness just, News. I was just going by, and I wanted to say so long, although I've talked to well, you. Well, thank you Aww. so much. People, you know, they Lean talk, in, because you don't have a mic. They oh. Talk to, <laughs> oh, that's right. They've right. talked 27 years, but John's actually been on the station, did you say, for 47 years? Yeah. For, no, 44. 44. 44, 44 this year. Voice talking to my lapel. And the, big, <laughs> and the big news is, now that you're leaving, I'm now the oldest employee. <laughs> I knew he was going to find a way to throw in a dig about my age in here. Yeah. Actually, Don Paul, our, uh, our weather right, guy, that's right. is a little Might bit older little than bit, me, but yeah. Yeah. I'm the, uh, you know, I'm taking over for you. Yes, yeah. you are. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a heavy mantle, but you'll wear wish, it well. I just wish I looked like you. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, come on. He's got the greatest hair. And I so know. do you, actually. I can't believe it. Yeah. What is it, Grecian formula? Yeah. <laughs> and it's his. It's all his. It's all mine. Tell me about the and lady that once who, who, who... Oh, when we used to have live audiences here in the studio, I came in one day and this woman and her friend were on the front row and she said, come here, honey. And I came and she said, bend down here to me. I thought she wanted to give me a hug. So I bend down. She reached up and pulled on my <gasps> hair. Can you imagine? And she turned to her friend and she said, see, I told you it was real. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the other woman thought it was a wig. And I said, ma'am, do you know how ridiculous you'd have felt if my hair came off in your hand? She said, honey, not as ridiculous as you would have been. So I, yeah. <laughs> you always said you'd never get one of those because they were just too much to pay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's an old, old one. Wow. I just it really to say, is. Congrats. Thank you, Keith. Have fun, Johnny. God bless you. All right, take thank care. you so much. Really, take care, buddy. We had a the, wonderful. Uh, he, thank you, Keith. He's kind of the honor, uh, uh, honorable mayor yeah. of Lewiston. I know, I know oh, he is. Oh, my gosh, I know he's he is. He's a fixture in Lewiston. And every we day. had a lovely. We have to thank the station. We had a lovely luncheon for you yeah. yesterday, which. And was catered I, by chefs. They I'm, did a great job. I meant all the things I said from my Ooh, heart. I mean, wonderful. they've given me the chance to do things I never thought I would ever do in my Travels, life. In a job that a lot of people places. tell me would be a dream or a fantasy for them. And and they've paid me to do it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, we've spoken I'm, to celebrities. I'm still pinching myself. We've gotten to, yeah. to, to be at places that you and I would have never gotten to. We had, had not for this show allowed here. us to do that. Robert Kulay and his wife, yeah. Mickey Rooney. Yeah. I mean, I, the list just goes, on, goes and on, on and on. Calm Wilkinson sat here yeah. and sang a cappella from uh, Phantom of the Opera yeah. when uh, when our good friend Brian. Okay. Was still on yeah. The show. So you know what? You have to write a book now too. Oh, please. Okay. No. Now you're going to have no. some time. It's going to be your turn. Oh, I'm hearing the applause from millions. Oh. There we go. <laughs> there we go. All right, John. Okay. So hopefully um, you will uh, live on in the studio. We'll hear your voice. But happy retirement. We love you. Thank you, sweetheart. We love you. John Thank Summers, you. everybody. Love you. Love you. Mm -hmm. Love you, too. And you know what? Since you love animals, guess what? We've got Pet Talk Tuesday next. Yeah. There be dogs here. <laughs> there be dogs right here. Right back. <laughs>